Well, with all the technology that we have now, we can easily check our spelling before we send a file off, or in this case, uh, the workbook, to somebody else. It looks really sloppy if uh, somebody opens it up and finds a lot of misspelled words, especially when you sent it to them in the technology that has spell check. That can check for your spelling errors and also correct them. It's really simple. You can do it one of two ways. You can either come up here on the Review tab, click on it, and go to the Proofing Group. There it is, Spelling. You can see when I hover over it, it's got the F7 key. That's the shortcut key. Go ahead and click on it to begin. And it began in the cell that I had selected, so it's starting from there, going down at the bottom, and it's saying, OK, well, do you want me to go back up to the top and continue finishing uh, checking the entire worksheet? We can go ahead and click on Yes. And it doesn't like Dreamforce here. It thinks that, as far as the suggestions go, it's got one. It should be split, not together. Now, I can either ignore it just this once, and if I had more spellings of Dreamforce throughout the entire worksheet, I can go ahead and say, well, ignore all of them this once. Or, if it's a spelling that I really want to be part of my dictionary, go ahead and click Add. It adds it to the dictionary, no longer considers it a misspelling. And then the next one, let me click and drag the header bar down, is Ebuary. And it says, I got a few suggestions, February, Briary, and then Februaries. Go ahead and select the suggestion that you like, and then click Change. And then when it's done, click OK, and I really don't like Februaries, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Undo or just come back, double click in here and type in capital F and hit enter or hit undo, use the shortcut key F7 and then go ahead and use the suggestion here, February, click change and it'll go back to the top of the worksheet because I started right on that cell that I had selected and say yes. Then one final thought, remember how we added Dreamforce to our dictionary? Let's say that I accidentally did that and I want to undo it so it always shows up as a misspelled word if, if the two words Dream and Force are put together. Simply come up here, click on the File tab, go down to the Options, click on that. We want to go to the Proofing tab here. And then down below we have Custom Dictionaries, go ahead and click on that. Then we want to take a look at the Custom Dictionary, go ahead and click on Edit Word List. I've got two in there, Dream Force is one of them. Go ahead and select it, click Delete and now I just have one. Of course you can add words to it by typing them in and then clicking add but I don't want to do that. We'll delete it. Click OK and OK, OK. So next time when I hit F7 on the keyboard I'll say yes continue and then it'll see that Dreamforce is no longer part of the dictionary and give us some suggestions. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.